So we're at Sival. This is uh, structure number one. This is where uh, a few years ago I found the uh, masks, the famous masks of Sival. So the discovery was bittersweet because we came um, here to find a huge lotus trench that had partly destroyed the pyramid and another pyramid uh, below, below the last one the looters had actually destroyed the back wall of, of a temple room and the front wall and they were about to destroy the facade of the building itself and they stopped just a few inches from the actual uh, relief sculpture that decorated the front so that's where I, I, uh, I looked uh, through the rocks and found the carving and was able to then uh, put an excavation on the other side and uncover the mask in, you know, in all its beauty and, and the rest is history. Can you, can you give us an idea of what the significance of that find is and of Sival in general in terms of its importance to Mayan archaeology? So Sival is one of the earliest uh, cities ever uh, founded by the ancient Maya. It starts around 900 BC, which is several centuries before any other major Maya city that we have surviving today as an archaeological site. And although this building was not uh, uh, built uh, that early, but it's still one of the earliest buildings with such um, uh, monumental sculpture decorating the facade. So it represents the uh, face of a, of a, of a deity, uh, presumably a, a storm god, decorating the side of, of the, the, uh, the temple stairway and its iconography is very complex and it tells us a lot about the religion as well as the political uh, organization of the very beginnings of Maya civilization. So, it's so this is us. really a key to yes. understanding large parts of Mayan history. Yes, this is actually, this site itself as a whole is a key to understanding the uh, beginnings of Maya civilization. Okay. And buildings like, the, like this one are extremely important because of the uh, the volume as well as the sophistication, uh, uh, architectural sophistication involved at this very early time. Something we did not imagine just a few years ago. And what are your objectives for the site? What do you hope to accomplish here? Well, we have a lot of uh, research to do here still because the site is very large and uh, has a lot of important structures that, that, that need to be investigated. We also like to um, um, consolidate some of the buildings so that the people can visit and appreciate you know, this site as one of the earliest Maya cities uh, ever built. Okay. And so I, I like to um, uh, consolidate the buildings, uh, um, improve the roads a little bit and, and uh, make it a little easier uh, to visit. Is there anything you can do about the mosquitoes? Nope, the mosquitoes <laughs> come with the territory. That's part of the adventure. Okay, thank you.